Oh my God, Mike, I just read one of your messages. Thanks for all your messages, guys. That long one that you wrote about Mount Shasta and um, the lizard people and all of my ma magical, mystical beings that live in there. And uh, it's a portal uh, to the underworld. Max Spears talks about it. He talked about going down in there. And um, my sister went and visited there. I guess she really liked it. She went a couple times because she never visited me or our dying mother, even though she was at the San Francisco airport and on her way to Mount Shasta. She went to Mount Shasta, but she didn't, she didn't bother to visit us and help me take care of our mother. Acting like I was being so mean she couldn't help me. Acting like I was chasing everybody away by taking care of our mother. No, I wanted help so badly. I was desperate for help. I wanted them to be nice to me and help me and be a family. That's what I wanted. I was hoping we'd be a family. But I know my sisters, man. They, they don't, they'll do anything to destroy me. And they did at the end. They could and they did. They had the opportunity to literally cause me as much pain as humanly possible and that's exactly what they did and they my mother had to pay the price too it wasn't just me it was more and and my best friend had to pay the price she died so anyway i want to read the messages and make a video i lost my phone i cannot find the damn thing and um i'm really pissed because the last time i remember it i remember going into a post office and um with it and uh it was in my pocket and i was like should i bring this or should i not bring this i'm gonna lose this i'm not i'm tucking it in and then i was like i was like, i'm gonna bring it and i'm not gonna lose it and then i went in, up there into the post office and then i went back down and i i think i had it and i don't know where the fuck it is so i can't communicate with anybody right through my phone right now which i feel you know one time i was things were going great i was getting along with 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 at least some members of the family really well and I was taking care of my mom and I was visiting people and I was bringing her to people and things were going great. And then I lost my phone and I didn't respond for like five days because I couldn't find the fucking thing. And then everybody got really mad at me. And that was the end of, that was the beginning of the end of everybody just turning on me. It was like little shit like that. I lost my phone and my narcissistic family members, incredible as they are, because usually narcissists are usually incredible. Oh shit. Narcissists oftentimes are also incredible people and on other in other ways you know they're not always all bad sometimes they, they can be very damaging but they can be incredible people oftentimes you know amazing intelligent vibrant vivacious powerful intense exciting different amazing whatever you know and uh, but then with that with these incredible qualities can often come this giant price of this narcissism thing Bang, twang, twenty, twin, twin. What do you mean by that? The fuck is that? Everything makes me scared. Everything has me jumping because of Avery Shannon and Maureen Cook. It's because of them. Because of you, I'm afraid to every, any, do anything in public now. I mean, I don't, I don't even want to go see. I don't see people. I'm alone all the time. I'm like, am I alone too much? Should I see people? Am I, is it getting, am I, is it, was that as a was, well, I'm going to be, I get to see my daughter and my grandson, so that's the good, that's the only thing keeping me sane, but I'm like, wow, you know, I mean, I'm like, uh, uh, am I ready to get out into the world? Is the world scary? Are there mean people out there? Can I trust anyone? Am I better sticking with my just self? Should I just, like, continue only having a, an emotional experience through, through, a, through a, an, an electronic box on Boxing Day? You see, when your friends are British, you learn about things like Boxing Day, which you would never otherwise know anything about. If you're an American, you don't care a, a damn about Boxing Day. But then all of a sudden you know about Boxing Day and how important it is to these people that live over there on that island across the pond. Boxing Day. We, we've abandoned Boxing Day, you know, here in the States. Well, who the hell are we but other people that came over here from Europe, okay? So we are them damn Brits who celebrate. What is Boxing Day? Where did it come from? Did it, was it started after all the low-life pilgrims or the wild ones? The wild west who got on those damn, built those damn boats. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Dam Maria. Maria America. See, America Mary. She's in everything. 
marry, 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 marry me. Will you marry me? Yeah, when I'm romantic and stupid. And I forget, I'm in the black meta matrix of hell where everything good turns bad and every good, att every good attempt gets punished. You know, it's weird, isn't it? Um, I said, now Dank, uh, see people who love Betty probably don't like Dank. Dank? Don't, I don't, I, I, I haven't heard you do anything I don't like yet, so if you never diss Ernie, I'd probably be happier. I mean, I do have this weird thing where it's like, you know, you say one mean thing about Max Spears and I'm like, we're, we're, it's over. We're, you're dead to me. You're dead to me. You know, that's not even an expression I normally use either. You know, you're dead to me, but it's sort of like that. And then same thing with Ernie Shell. It's like, you don't like Ernie Shell? You're, there must be something wrong with you. You're clearly evil, you know? But nobody's all bad. I mean, I remember being thrilled when Doug from Um No Thanks came over to Dolly's show boldly because Dolly had been bashing him. They like to bash each other. They're probably, they might be part of the same club. Maybe. Or Doug is thinking about joining and... Anyway, when Doug came over and showed Dolly all this evidence about BK, the Baphomet hermaphrodite blood muddy hitman, the one that I've been afraid of, the one that was used to scare me by Avery Shannon and Maureen Cook St. Mo. Huh. It's funny, I don't hate St. Mo like I should. I don't know why. I feel bad for her. I don't know why. I'm insane. See, I'm insane. I probably would fall in love with my own killer. I probably, I probably, some guy would probably be sent to hurt me, right? A lover, a handsome lover who seduces women or something. Sent to me, probably, maybe, could be. You know, just like one of those things. Where they're like, yeah, send her the lover and then poison her from within. We'll put a condom on his magical stick and then we'll put the poisonous thing on the outside and you're gonna stick it in there. That's one thing. I saw that on a 007 movie. You think I'm gross? Well, I saw it in a movie, okay? That's how I know about it. And I, I swear to God, if I had not seen that movie, I might just have done it with that hot, sexy 007 freaking Celtic, Welsh, Irish fucking guy. Uh, that, 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 holy shit. Yeah, he was, he would have been like considered my perfect man. My mother wanted me to date him so bad, so bad. She really liked him, but my mother was in her crazy state, you know? And uh, he was cute as pie. I mean, I was totally like, huh, he's my neighbor. I could have, could have, could have, could have, could have. But he had this blonde Texas girlfriend, this Texan girlfriend who, um, who, um, this big blonde babe who who drove a Porsche. This little black Porsche. Or this, it was red. I can't remember now. It was red or black. It was showy. It was rich. I remember that. She was rich. And I was like, and I heard from another neighbor that that neighborhood was full of CIA agents or ex-CIA agents. And you know what they say about the CIA? How you once you CIA, you're always CIA. Even if you say you retired from the CIA, you didn't really retire because you can. You can never retire from the CIA. Once you're in, you're in. The only way out is to fake your death or commit suicide or get on, hooked on drugs or get locked up in a jail cell or get locked up in a mental ward or something. I feel terrible for Ernie Show. Oh my God. He said there's no TV, he's got no phone, he has no communication with the outside world, he's locked in a nurse. What has he done that's so bad? Jimbo and Lisa both seem to think, and I, I could be wrong, but it seems like they made comments that made me think they both kind of both think that he should be locked up for longer. What does he do? Does he turn into an, an, an evil animal or something? Does he, have you seen him turn into a lichen or something? Have you seen him do that? Does he turn into a dangerous 
Animale. With the magic powers, eh? If anybody's rich and wants to buy me a car, I want that Jag. Just kidding. I don't like showy cars, except for the Jag. I have this thing about the Jag. It's probably because it's a cat car, you know? Cat, it's all bad. Well, back in the day, they used to be curvy. I used to like the curviness. You know, the sexy when they're curvy, you know what I'm saying? I liked sexy back then. Nah, then I became a mother and I liked practical and roomy and safe. First, I was like, that's sexy. I never had a car like that, trust me. No, 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 we got, I was lucky to have anything at all. My dad got the most sl tr trimmed down, slimmed down, least expensive Chevy Chevette and or Honda, a Honda Accord, those little tiny, he would get these tiny, really cheap, no frills, not nothing but the wheel, the seat, the four wheels, the, the body of the car, an engine, you know, a thing to put the gas in. He probably didn't even have air conditioning knowing him. If you if you could avoid any frill at all, he would. Any frill. No frills. Nothing frilly for my dad. No. Hell does it not. He was the most shark like, you know, Spartan for a guy living in the twenties. I think it can't killed him. It destroyed him to see any of us, um, you know, being mind controlled and drugged by this new Nazi world that basically took over during Hitler's time. Now, the Americans think that the USA, the United States of America, won the war and that the Germans lost and that Hitler was killed and that the Germans lost and we won. But secretly, they won. Well, the Nazis won. Well, actually, what happened was secretly the Nazis teamed up or we grabbed the good ones or the smart evil ones and brought them here so we could be smart and evil. Evil. We wanted to be evil like them. Or we were always evil. Who's evil? Everyone. Does Mary have red hair? Did Mary have red hair? Why did he make Jesus look like a white guy with blue eyes? And sad. And the face of Max Spears, basically. With these sort of sad eyes. This really sweet nature. He was so sweet. And Ernie was sweet back in the day. Remember Ernie when he was sweet? I have no idea who Ernie is now. They locked him up. They locked him up in a, in a mental ward. He's stuck in a room all day. What's he going to do? He's going to go crazy. Why did they do this to him? Why do they think it's a good idea? I know that woman who came on there telling me I'm the evil one. Yeah, that that's the one of the coven bitches. And uh, she's one of those coven ones that doesn't want him free of the coven. He's supposed to be like the leader of the coven or something like that. Uh, he mentioned getting some sort of crown. Don't forget, Jesus had a crown of thorns. Thorns aren't really comfortable when they're smashed into your head. I think they hurt. Thorns. You know? I'm afraid to talk to people. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird now. I guess it was always a little weird. It's not like the first time I've been. I've been weird for a while, but in a new way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid of. I can't. I don't know how to deal with people anymore. I've completely lost. You know what it is? Well, what I can do, what I can do is um, when I do feel the connected frequency of sovereignty, a sovereign being who lives in harmony on earth from source energy, then I share that in a video. That's what I do. Sometimes I speak in a different accent. It just somehow flows that way. I go with the flow on that one, you know? You know, if I had a great body, would I do a nude scene? Why do I even think of such a thing? Nude scene? What? Huh. Well, one time I was in really good shape and I was like, I'm not into porn, but I was sort of like, I don't know. You know, Marilyn Monroe wanted to get up and be naked in front of everyone. Notice how little Summer Wells was would run up in front of the stage and try to be seen by everyone. She knew she was in trouble. She was trying to be seen. She wasn't gonna, she was supposed to be a star. I think she was a star. And she was drugged and she was abused 
and she was used and she was neglected and she was ignored except for her by her pervo dad who who was obsessed with her they i think that she summer wells and her father don wells i think they were really really connected and had a very strong soul connection and i think for him to sell her for drugs a little child that really loved him that he really did love in his own weird sicko sexually perverse way he sold his own little girl for drugs i think she really loved him she thought he was she thought he was all he had she knew she knew her mother didn't love her you don't you don't think she knew that you don't think she felt that why do you think she was all over her daddy when he, when her daddy came home? Well, girls love their daddy sometimes. My my sister wouldn't let me have a relationship with I think my dad was afraid to um, have a relationship with me in front of his firstborn daughter because he knew that she would hate it and he couldn't bear to upset her. So I almost, it was almost understood, weirdly. Like, I almost was like... I get it, don't worry. On a soul level, I kind of knew it's okay for me to take second tier. It's okay for me right now in this lifetime is me, the daughter, you, the father, with the older sister and all these siblings surrounding me and all, you know this whole household full of people, my mother and the grandparents and just everybody. Not your typical grandparents, not the, not the, not the kind you think. Not the lovey-dovey sweetie pie kind. No, 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 not for me. No, they were scary. They were very intelligent, highly accomplished, or seemed like they were. And um, just kind of like, I was always intimidated by them. I don't know. They weren't, I didn't feel comfortable around them. I always was scared to be around them. I tried to be, I tried to have a bond with them when, I realized they were getting old and they were going to die and I went to spend the weekend with them because I wanted to get to know them on my own terms. I, there's been, always been lots of lies told about me by my siblings. Some of them, not all of them. I smell chocolate. Is that my coffee? So I feel like there's less people. Which would be, which would make sense since apparently COVID killed millions of people, allegedly. And, or I'm on a new timeline where only the cool people are. And so there's less people, which is fine by me. I don't like lots of riffraff at all. I don't know. I just don't. Sorry. Am I a snob? Who cares? I just, I like what I like. You like riffraff? Go to riffraff. You, you're free to go to the riffraff. If you want the riffraff, go to the riffraff. I don't like the riffraff. I don't need a bunch of messy, sloppy, it's all, it's, I'm, you know, I, I'm trying to make myself better with each breath, shit, with each, you know, Kim looked, Kim looked a little bit angry and disgusted, she had this look on her face, like, and I almost, I get that, like, I was, I was like, wow, she looks like, um, she's been pissed, and, I bet she has, and she's had it. You know, she's like, I've fucking had it. And I think she's horrified. See, when people treat you so badly, and when you witness unbe unbelievably horrible behavior, you do get fucking pissed. You're just like, fuck this shit. You know, I'm not gonna be some nicey, nicey, fuck this shit. You get pissed finally, and you're like, get the fuck out of here. You know, you get pissed. You draw a boundary, you're just like, no, I object to this. I'm objecting to this. I'm not taking this shit. Back off, fuckers. Back off, motherfuckers. In fact, get the get the hell off the planet altogether. That's where she's at, I think. I can feel it in the DNA. I, I think I share some of her Rus, Russian blood. I've always, I, I'm half Russian. Russian Jew, whatever that means. What the hell does that mean? Russian Jew? I love you. What's a Russian Jew? I'm still trying to feel. What's a Polish Jew? It's the Ashkenazi fake Jews, the white Jews. What are those? Is that the Anki DNA, Tribe of Dan, 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 DNA? D A N, DNA? Are they collecting your DNA with those tests? 
Yeah, I can feel my DNA. I do not need to buy a test and send it to the Snazis for them to use and make clones. Yeah, she will. She, I think she's had it. She's like, I'm done with you. I'm done. She's finally angry, that angry. She tried to be nicey-nicey. She tried to be a little Mrs. Rogers neighborhood, you know? And, and she's just like, I, I'm done. I'm done with these fucking assholes. Get off. Get off. I don't even know why they were allowed to stay so long as it is. Apparently, she's been fighting them all, all these years, but why her? Who's she? You know? So, I don't know exactly who she is. But, um, I think she's better than everybody else. You know, to me, it's like, I'd rather have her. Wow. Oh, I just saw mom with little baby. It's very cute. Aww. My grandson is so cute. He is such a cool kid. You can tell he's a cool kid already. He's a cool cat. Turtle tots. Turtle toddlers. Team turtles. Yeah, you should make little team turtles for kids. All right, I'll be back. Love you.